Our own individual wellness is enhanced by the health of everyone around us, and Hanita Mathere has made physical and emotional well-being an integral part of the family business. My own energy reserves are feeling a bit depleted, so I decided to see what ideas Hanita had to offer. We first met up with Hanita as a Bharatanatyam dancer at a recent book launch and birthday celebration for struggle icon Mani Ben Sita. But this was a labor of love rather than her actual career. To discover more about Hanita as an entrepreneur and individual, Zaki headed to a valley nestled below the Skivabar, southwest of Shwane. A shady avenue brought her to a property on the banks of the Hanups River and Zaki felt her stress level easing the minute she stepped out of her car and into the garden. They say that the true secret to productivity is not knowing how to work but how to rest. I love that piece of advice and I know that even a brief break can recharge my batteries. And that's just one of the reasons why I'm at Benshona Langa. Not just that, but also to meet the woman behind the resort. And we're going to start off with some yoga. Yoga plays an important role in Hanita's daily routine, keeping her centered and able to deal with the demands of a busy day. Namaste. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for coming and you're able to join us. We're just in time. We started with the meditation, but we're going to do the breathing. I've got a mat for you already. Awesome. With the ankle, start to swing the hip forward. The property forward. offers yoga classes as part of its overall focus on wellness because Hanita believes in helping her guests to relax and re-energize physically, mentally and spiritually. Hanita, what is your philosophy at Enshona Langa? We want to create a holistic type of uh, wellness. So you come here for body, mind and soul healing. Uh, the other important aspect is food. So food is something that we, we want to advocate about a balance, um, eating according to your dosha. So a dosha is, according to the Ayurvedic system, your personality, your, your constitution, and each one of us have a different constitution. So we teach you how to eat according to your dosha so you can keep a balance. Speaking about food, I can smell something so delicious. Let's make our way to breakfast. I'm sure it's waiting for us. <laughs> The restful sound of rushing water added to the tranquil ambiance, and the glorious weather was an invitation to enjoy a meal under the trees. Zaki was curious to find out more about Hanita's own career path, which had taken her from physiotherapist to CEO. So where does the Hanita Matre story begin? As an Indian child brought up in an Indian home, the main focus was to study. So my parents made sure that I um, go and study and get a degree, and um, that's when I got my physiotherapy degree. So excited. Thank you, Simon. I just Thank can't you. hide it. Thank you very much. You. So currently now I'm also studying a global executive development program. Studying never stops. You continue studying all your life. It's not like you get your degree and say, okay, now I'm done with studying. And I think that personal development continues. A wellness center and spa has recently been added to the resort. Was this your baby? At this day and age, there's a lot of stress-related illnesses. So we've made that decision based on that. We're going to develop a concept that's going to give people tools in order to be able to balance their lives out, to help them to deal with the stresses that are there. I would love to see more of the place. Well, we'll go for a walk as soon as we're done with our breakfast over here. I cannot wait. After enjoying their strawberry breakfast, Hanita and Zaki made their way to the spa, which incorporates the natural environment in a venue styled along contemporary lines and inspired by ancient Eastern concepts. And so this is our wet area. Rock has a natural healing element and that's why we wanted to keep it as part of the feature that's here. I love it. I literally walked in here and it felt like I was in a different universe. So let's go and get you ready for your treatment. Okay, so Zach, this is our Shirodara room and I'm going to hand you over to Evelyn who's going to take care of you. I'm going to leave you to freshen up and start prepping for lunch and I'm going to see you shortly. See you later. The spa offers a variety of Ayurvedic and other therapies, including Shirodhara, which involves gently pouring liquids such as oil, milk and coconut water over the forehead. Other treatments include deep tissue massage and the principle of Rasiana, or the restoration of youthful physical and mental health, guides the overall approach to health and wellness.
feeling thoroughly refreshed. Zaki couldn't wait to see what Hanita had planned for lunch. Mmm. Hi. How did you enjoy your treatment? It was absolutely heavenly. You look so nice and relaxed. I love it. Yes, you are, actually. So what's cooking good looking? We've got a bit of a display of all the spices that we use in our foods. We're going to start preparing our lunch. How do different spices affect the different doshas? If you have a pitta dosha, which is fire, and you eat too much chili, it will throw your balance out. So you will tend to get maybe uh, indigestion, you'll get ulcers. Um, and so what we advise you to do is either don't have chili, and for me with pitta, I can't do that. So then we teach you of what you can do to counterbalance that. So I'd have yogurt or um, to counterbalance that, so it cools you off. So some of the spices heat your body up, other spices cool your body. So this is the ground dania, the ground coriander. This is cooling in nature. The fish, what we do is, uh, because we're preparing it outside, Okay, we're going to put it on foil. Okay. All right, so I'm going to grab this fish over here and put it there. And we're going to put this over there and then you're going to just then pass me all the spices. I'm going to ask you, right, do you like chilies, right? Love so we're chili. going to put, So you're going to sprinkle a little bit of the chili both sides. Okay, and <laughs> the jiro you can put, carry on. You can put this nice healthy amount of jiro and I'm going to rub this in there so the spices can spread a little bit. And then you can put turmeric if you want to, you can use the teaspoons. Okay, so now that, that's it. There you go. And let's not forget the salt. Look at that color. Garlic, I love garlic. It gives a lot of flavor. It's a very good antibiotic. Be liberal with that. You can bring us the onions, and I love onions on my food. And then we can layer the tomatoes. And let's layer the lemons on there, like so. And we're gonna put some nice fresh thyme. Mm -hmm. And now for the best part is the butter. Ah. I love you. What we then do is we close the fish. It's nice if you even have a nice flooded fish. Oh, wow. It's a fish sandwich. Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to close this up. We're going to make a nice little pocket. There. You can close that side for me. You can either pop this in the oven or you can, like I like to do outside here, is put it on the hot coals um, and, and get that ready. So let's give this to the chef to so he can finish up the preparation. Awesome and we'll make our way up to the table. A few minutes later, the meal was ready for tasting. Enjoy. Thank you. This looks outstanding. What is the vision for the property and yourself? Well, we want to expand the business, so definitely put up more accommodation so that we can sleep over 200 guests, put up a restaurant, and then upgrade the facilities. So expansion is definitely in the next four to five years is the plan. What advice do you have for entrepreneurs? Don't give up. Network as much as possible because that's where you'll get all the information and the gaps. And educate yourself. The hospitality industry can be quite stressful. What do you do to relax and unwind? Apart from going to the spa, <laughs> I actually dance. I love dancing and so that's one of my passions. I am a qualified Indian classical dancer. I've done Paradhanakim. Um, I've done that for many years and it's my, my place where I go just to, to have my sanity. Will you show us? Really, do I have to? Please, come on. <laughs> okay, if I'm going to have to do that, I'm going to have to get ready. So I'm going to leave you to enjoy your fish. I will eat this fish for myself. Okay. <laughs> While Zaki was enjoying every tasty morsel of her lunch, Anita was transforming into a dancing avatar. The costume, makeup and jewellery of the Bhartanatyam dancer are based on traditional South Indian bridal style. But this is just one aspect of the preparation for a performance, which also has an important spiritual aspect. Hanita, for those viewers out there who may not know, you just did a prayer. What does it mean? All traditional classical um, Indian dance styles have a little prayer that they do. And the prayer is just to ask forgiveness um, for stamping on the feet and also blessings um, so that you can go forward. One of my favorite parts of Bharatanatyam is the way you use your eyes and your hands as a means of expression. We have to learn all those eye movements and hand movements in order to tell the stories. I'm going to leave the professional to it. <laughs> To the performer, Bharatanatyam is an art that can be seen as a form of yoga intended to reveal a spiritual truth through its physical manifestation. 
the individual identity of the dancer dissolves into the rhythm and music, and the body is merely an instrument for the experience and expression of the spirit. I need to thank you for such a spectacular day. You have fed me in so many different ways. I'm glad that you enjoyed it and it was also an amazing opportunity for me. So thank you for spending the day with me.